Hey everyone, World Film Geek here, and my latest interview is with David Sullivan, one of the stars of the Amazon Prime series The Wilds. He has a new film called Monuments, which is currently available on demand and on digital. He plays a widower who steals his wife's ashes and goes on a cross-country road trip to find himself in the process. I hope you all enjoy the interview. If I can get this started. Okay, there we go. So... David, you started in Monuments. This movie was hilarious. This was like probably the most fun road trip movie I've seen in a while. And that's saying something. It oh, thanks, Albert. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. It's, you know, when you set out to make a movie, you 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 hope that it speaks to, to people in, in a way where they can, you know, they can connect to it. But um, yeah, we're finding that that this movie is connecting to a lot of people. And it, it, it feels it feels and some people are like, I, I love I love the you know, the, the road trip comedy and other people are like, I love this, this kind of dramedy that you guys did. Oh, I love how he deals with grief, the loss of his wife. And it's like, if anybody were to like hear that on the outside, it's like, wait, are we talking about the same movie? Um, yeah, <laughs> it, I love it was a yeah, it was a meshing. I felt it was a meshing of all three, you know? Yeah. The road yeah, trip movie sure. and then the the emotional aspect and then the the big shocking twist for me in the third act i mean yeah. worse you know don't want to spoil anything yeah, but right. you know pretty much pretty much gives itself you know yeah much well you see it you see a guy going through an emotional journey and 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 uh and and sometimes you know grief in life you know in 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 real life can can throw some curveballs at you and you don't necessarily know how you're supposed to react and i think a lot of times as as human beings we get caught up in the idea of what it is that we're supposed to do yeah and really it's like hey go with your gut like quit focusing on what it is you're supposed to do and just kind of follow your gut and see where that takes you yeah exactly so how how did you get involved in this project i mean first of all you know that's the one question i usually ask like how did you yeah. get all of it. I just yeah I I, uh, I I had a meeting with Jack and Jack had the script that that I really liked and uh, and I I kind of needed him to tell me why we would be a good fit like I I wanted to do the movie um, I I had I had um, I had felt that 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 it was it would be a challenge for me and and that um, as long as we had the right you know cast and, and crew around me that I could do you know a pretty good job. And I just wanted to make sure that he felt the same way because, you know, as an actor, you kind of have to be confident and you kind of have to think, you know, I'm the best person for this. Um, but yeah, I, I needed to know that he was, you know, behind me as well. So yeah, I, I, once I read the script and got a meeting with him, we were like, all right, what do we need to do to get this movie made? Awesome. And I got to say, this had an amazing cast. Um, besides you, I'm a huge Mighty Ducks fan. So technically yeah. I had to be biased on that. And your chemistry with Marguerite Moreau is was amazing. That was like the heart of the film, in my opinion. Right. Because here she is. She pretty much went against her family to be with you. You guys, you know, and then we was real. You guys were separated, and then you're, you got back together. And then, you know, tragically, something, you know, yeah, she passes, and then that that leads you to her family. Man, something ain't right. right? With them. I know, and they were so fun. That that was actually a tough day for shooting for me because I. I wasn't, I hadn't really met them. Mm -hmm. And the first time that I had, I, they were, we were kind of at the hotel, but they were in a different room than me. And when they were shooting the stuff in the hotel and then, and then when I, we did the scene out by the well, like I hear this singing as I'm walking to set and I'm like, what, what is happening? <laughs> and they're like singing and they're doing like these little arm motions and stuff. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, what, what is this? And that was actually a struggle for me because so many times I, I kept, I kept, uh, I kept breaking because I was just laughing so much. <laughs> another, one, another thing I really liked in the film was this rivalry between you and Howell. Mm -hmm. That was, that was like their big comedy part of it. Cause yeah. he just kept, he kept being convinced that he was her boyfriend. Uh huh. Yet she just, she's like, seeing me at the supermarket is not, a date <laughs> but he just has this mindset because i feel like his the sister brainwashed him to mm -hmm. thinking that because his, mm -hmm. his her her sister mm -hmm. you know how many times I've, every time i saw her and when she started talking i wanted to smack my screen so many times <laughs> because that character reminded me of so much so many people i knew who were just like that and i was like I could just, oh man, that's but great. she was that's still great. good. Well, I mean, she pulled off a great performance. Um, Paulina did, but that just was, yeah, I, 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 I can relate to that character so much. Sure. Like, 
<laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I you know, I, I, as an actor, you, you, you hope that the, that the cast that they put around you is, 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 I, I don't know, is, it, it won't be difficult, but also that you'll be able to play with. And every, every person, every single part of the cast was somebody that I could play with. It was, it was really a lot of fun. Yeah, especially Javier, because that th that you guys just kept going off on each other every chance yeah, you get. Yeah, we had like, a great time. We became felt really like, good friends. It felt like a boxing match, like the first fight's in this area, second fight's in this area, and then, uh -huh. you know. And I just and kept then, losing. <laughs> well, yeah, up until um, up until where he, um, yeah, yeah. something happens and to I, him. And I, <laughs> and, then, and I accidentally win. Yeah, it's like, it's like you hit the, you, you got the one haymaker in, but. but That's right. Yo, know, it's right. like. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. So it looks like it sounds like you had a lot of fun on the set. Um, was there any like difficulties that you faced during it besides the fact that you just kept trying to? No, I mean, I well, the river was was difficult. Um, they, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't realize that I was going to be in the river the whole day um i just thought that it was going to be like a wide shot and you were going to see me kind of slip down in there but like take after we only had we only had two wetsuits and one of them was too big and so it was like all the water was going like straight through the wetsuit so i that day was particularly tough but um it was refreshing it was refreshing once i got in the water but but after you know hour two and it's like all right i i don't know if i can handle this anymore Wow. You, you did your, that, you did that whole scene by yourself, like no yeah. stunt. Well, that was the thing. I, I, we, I'd been going in the water and, and falling down and going down the river. Oh and, man. And yeah. It was. And, and then like, you know, an hour into it, I look, I look, uh, you know, kind of across the, the, where we were, where we were on set. And I was like, who is that guy? And why does he look a lot like me and wearing the same thing I'm wearing? And they're like, Oh, well that's, that's the, that's your stunt guy. And I'm like, I have a stunt person for this and he hasn't been being what <laughs> and like well we you just said that you were okay doing it and i'm like well yeah but i didn't know that was an option <laughs> um, so it wasn't until i you know i was already halfway through the day that i realized wait somebody else can do this <laughs> and by yeah, that point it was already too late also look at it this way though that's it's dedication in a way that's right. you know because right. it's like you know you see actors, you know, act like big shots, and then that's right. You know, they have stunt doubles, but yeah, I chose you know, to do my own stunts. Yeah, exactly. I, I, you know, and that's I have appreciation for people who Thank do you. that. I They're willing to take, that. willing to take the risk. <laughs> Thanks, Albert. So, how long did shooting take? On the a uh, little over a month. Uh, we we shot in and around the the suburbs of Chicago, and then uh, and then we all packed up, and then and then uh, the crew, most of the crew, drove to Boulder, Colorado. And uh, the cast, they just stuck us on a plane. And, and you know, the next day we were shooting again in, uh, in Colorado. So it was great. I mean, it, it, you know, it feels kind of like a road trip movie. Like they, they, they really did take a road trip in the movie. I would have liked to have done it, but mm -hmm. they were like, no, we need you there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we just jumped on a plane. Wow. Man, I, people really need to see this type of movie. Yeah. You always, get, you. You always, get, you always get road trip movies, but, like, they always usually stick to one type of thing mm -hmm. with very minimal of another genre. But this one I felt was the perfect meshing. Cool. Like it, you had the comedy and then you had the emotions and then. Thank you. That Well, I mean, that's the thing, you know, with, with independent film, it, it, it's, it's tough. And especially, you know, now that so many things have changed, it's tough to find an audience. And, uh, and, and I'm, I'm hoping that this movie, you know, it, it, it really connects with people and people talk about it and, and they go see it because I, I, I think it really, I think it's comforting. I think there's a lot of comfort there and in, in knowing that there's not really a right way to go through this grieving process. Like you, everybody's different and, mm -hmm. and everybody kind of has their own way of dealing and that's okay. Um, so yeah, I like the idea of, of people seeing it and, and laughing out loud and then, and then another group of people seeing it or even the same. And then they find themselves like really, you know, empathizing and crying. Like, if you if you're if you're lucky enough to or i'm lucky enough to be in a movie that moves people to to such strong emotions it's it's a really really great feeling for me yeah and i think that's what i think that's what we need these days yeah. like these type of movies because we've gone through hell and back literally in a oh, way right. and you know with now we got the new variant that's just it's i don't know what's gonna happen at this point with that mm. but either way i mean we uh, we need to feel a good movie and i feel like this is one of the ones this year oh, well, I, I really appreciate that and thank you for what you do and helping helping spread the word i really appreciate that
Yeah, I will say this. Another part that cracked me up, and it was when you reunited with Laura and you had the singing angels with her. I could not stop laughing. I, um, I don't know how you tell me. It was just like the dancing scene where you just kept trying to keep your composure. And you, yeah. I, I would have been, I would have been breaking. Oh, it was, it was, it was great because like, I, I, you know, I, again, those were, those were actors that I hadn't met before. And as I was getting dressed for the day and, and uh, I was getting changed in my, my, my wardrobe, like I hear these beautiful angelic voices, like across the room. I'm like, who? And we we're actually in a church that day we were, we were we, a church was a, uh, allowing us to use, you know, uh, their space in order to get changed and kind of have base camp. And I thought that it was, I thought that it was a choir warming up and I followed the angelic voices into this, in, in this different part of the church. And like, it's just these three girls. And I'm like, Oh, you guys are, and I'm like, Oh wait, you guys are in the movie. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. And, and, and when, once I, once I was there with them, I was like, man, we are, we are so lucky. Yeah. I got, I, that must've been, that's your biggest challenge right there. Not realizing who's in the movie. And who's yeah. Not. Yeah. And I the, mean, cause you know, you're, there's so many other things that, that, that we have to focus on that, you know, you're not really paying much attention to, to who's filling in, you know, a lot of these other roles. Um, I don't, I actually, I, yeah, I don't even know. I don't know when they were cast, but I thought that they were all beautifully cast. Yeah. I thought, I think this was a perfect um, cast for sure. Yeah, it's gotta I, I, felt, I felt it was to Brittany Ward. She's, she's, I think she's actually in Chicago now. I think she actually moved to Chicago. Uh, but yeah, she's a, she's a, a, a wonderful casting director who's done a lot of great work in LA and, and, and now Chicago. That's awesome. So finally, after Monuments, what's coming up for you that you can talk about? Yeah, I literally just got back in the States. I was, um, I was, I've been in Australia for the last uh, five months working on uh, my second season of The Wilds, which is oh. a uh, show on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. uh, so just wrapped that. So uh, season two will probably come out early next year. And uh, I got two movies that will be coming out, one of which will come out later this year. It's called um, Small Town Wisconsin. We're playing at the Phoenix Film Festival at the end of the month. And then uh we have some distribution deals that we need to go through and, and figure out the best avenue for us and then uh a film called the big bin that uh will start up its festival run early next year that's awesome and they're all very different roles so uh, as an actor I'm, I'm i'm really proud of of the work that i get to do in these movies that's awesome so guys monuments is now available on demand and in digital and if you want to feel good movie and still have that emotional aspect you guys got to check this one out and especially because david's great in this movie you know he he drove the film I'm, but like, come on let's not short sell it i'm phenomenal in this he movie, is Albert. he's phenomenal <laughs> he, he's hilarious he's emotional right he just brought the a game to that's an indie right. film that, that's this right. is his a game movie right here that's right so, <laughs> so david thank you so much again for taking the time to talk about monuments and i hope everyone gets to see this because they are in for a treat and a thank wild you ride. so much albert i really appreciate what you're doing for us all right man you take care now right, you too have a good day all right, all right you too bye-bye